Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to winter in Pennsylvania. I'm in zone 6B and in today's video, as you can see, the garden is sleeping. We are going to do some winter sewing. I have my milk jugs already prepped and I'm gonna share with you how I do this. I did this the year before with echinacea cornflower seeds and I just did it as an experiment and I was very amazed by the results. Of there are several reasons why you want to winter sew in milk jug or water bottle because you may not have the space inside you don't have grow lights you don't want to deal with all that extra setup you need to do indoors so you have milk jug water bottle and if you don't drink milk or you don't have water bottle i recommend you probably go to maybe a starbucks or a cafe and ask if they can save the milk jugs for you so that's another option where you can get these jugs anyways so with these we're gonna put the seed in here we're gonna leave them outside and you don't even have to worry about them so winter sewing is very cost effective it doesn't cost you much especially in terms of your equipment and your setup inside you just need some potted mix soil and your seeds and some milk jugs and you're good to go anyway so some people may say you should use seed satin soil i don't when i did this the year before i used potty mix good old miracle grow and it worked perfectly and if you're using a different potty mix i strongly recommend that it has perlite in there and this is the perlite it helps with drainage it's very good in your soil i need a white in here those white stuff that is a perlite i'll show you what it looks like if you've never seen it before this is what your perlite looks like okay so if you want, you could add some extra to your soil, but if it comes with it, there is no need to. But I just wanted to share that with you. So make sure you have a potting mix that has good perlite in there and the soil is soft and fluffy. It will be a key to your success with your winter sowing. All right, so I already prep most of these jugs and then I'll prep one with you so you can see what I did an old ice pick inside and i poke holes to the bottom of the jugs it's very important you have drainage in these okay so that's your first step is drainage you can use a knife i've used a nice knife before and it wasn't user friendly and i didn't want to hurt myself while using it so i recommend get something like an ice pick I'm not sure where you could find this but i found these inside they're very old and you see that and it works perfectly so get something with a sharp edge if you want to use a knife just be careful okay anyway so make sure you puncture holes to the bottom and then i went ahead and i cut right by the handle here because you want to make sure this acts as a handle okay so right below there you stop your cut right here's a close-up all right and very important you keep the caps off you do not need the caps on top of these okay Make sure they're off. Show you what seeds I'm gonna winter sow. As I said before, I'm in zone 6B, and not every seed requires winter sowing. So, for example, my sunflower, my celosia, I will not winter sow those seeds. I will wait until the temperature is warm in spring, and then I'll just plant them in the ground. So, I have milkweed here. These I harvested from my garden in the summer. And then I have lupines. Oh my goodness, I love lupines. Lupines start to bloom in late spring to summer. I love, love lupines. And then I harvest these apricot blanket flower seeds from a plant I purchased in the summer. I love it so much, I'm like, I'm gonna try these. And then I have scabiosa, love that plant so much. So all of these are actually perennials. And in here we have snapdragons and i did a video with my seed haul from raw seeds i'll link that in the description for you below but that's just where i got this seed from so we're gonna do some snapdragons and over here i think i want to make a small garden just for hummingbirds so i'm gonna try this packet out all of these are perennial this hummingbird garden mixture seed mix and there are a lot of different flowers in there right here where it says contain you have four o'clock you have zinnia you have larkspur coneflower flax there's so many different seeds in here so i'm very curious to see what seeds i'll get and which if i'll actually be able to identify which plant is which because there's so many in here 
but i'm gonna just only do half of this as a test and then in spring i'll do the other half because i only have one packet of the hummingbird seed i think all right so we're gonna go ahead oh and this, i forgot this is echinacea coneflower these are great for winter sowing i have i said these from seeds in my garden so we're gonna do a lot of these today all right so let's get these containers ready and i'll go in detail and show you how i cut the container and how i poke the hole all right all righty so the few things i have here for this you don't need much you just need a sharp object to make holes at the bottom of your milk jug just be careful if you use the knife or box cutter and i just have a marker they do have the garden marker but i'm gonna try this if not I'm recording this. So I'll know which seed is in which jug come spring if the marker doesn't work. And then I have this box cutter. Very sharp. We're just going to only use, use it for a second. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the scissors. Because I was actually afraid to use this stuff. It's really, really sharp. And then you can use duct tape, but I have this tape inside. I used this the year before and it worked. So we also have this too, okay? Oh, and friends, let me mention to you also another resource for you to poke a hole at the bottom of the jug. I have, you know, one of those hot glue gun. Yes, I use one of that, but not with the glue. Make sure the glue is out and I just plug it in and I just poke the holes here. And it works pretty well too. But when I found the ice pick, I thought I prefer the ice pick because look at the difference. Do you see that? That's a lot of holes from the ice pick. And if you use the hot glue gun, just make sure you do a lot of it in here. Do you see that? So that's another resource for you if you have something like that in hand. If you don't want to use a sharp knife. Because I honestly, I didn't want to use a sharp knife. So this is the bottom. And I'm just simply doing this with the ice pick. You see how easy it is? And here you can see the holes on here. Alrighty friends, and here's a close-up of what it looks like. Good old ice pick. <laughs> and here's the other one here. And it's so much, it feels so much safer than using a knife. And then let me share with you how to make the cut, okay? So I have this box cutter, very sharp. And I'm gonna start from right here. Just make sure you have it angled right below the hinge because you need it to use this as a handle. So I'm gonna start right there and I'm gonna do this and poke the hole. That's it. Because I tried using this all the way around and it wasn't straight and I just felt like I was gonna hurt myself and I'm like, I'm not using this. So simply take your box cutter and just poke a hole with it. Very sharp to do that. And then I took my scissors and I just continue in a straight line. Hope you can see that properly. I just continue in a straight line with the scissors all the way around. Okay. And then I stop right there. Right here. And here we are. And there you go. My hinge is still on. And I have this I can use as a support and you can see the holes in here pretty well, right? So that's how I did this. All right, friends, everything is prepped and you naturally, you should moisten your soil, but we expecting some snow for the first time. So I'm not really gonna moisten this cause the snow, will do that for me but you should moisten your soil and i'm gonna sprinkle the seeds on top i have my jugs already labeled Alrighty, and here we have some lupine seeds so we're just gonna scatter it all over in no form or the shape you just scatter it all over okay and then nature will do what nature needs to do and then i have another lupine where is it there you go and here's another lupine here. So I have two jugs with the lupines and I'm just gonna scatter it all over. I'm so excited for these seeds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the container. When you finish scattering your seeds, just make sure you put some 
So I'll make sure on top, you don't need too much, just enough. And you should plant these according to the directions on your seed packet, okay? So if it say two inches below soil depth, make sure you give them two inches or whatever the seed packet says. And then you cover it with some soil, all right? And then you can spray it in. But as I said to you before, we're expecting snow here shortly. So I'm not going to do it to all of them. But just for the video purpose, I'm going to show you what you should do with this. All right. So that's the loop pine. It's done. And then we're going to tape these guys up. All right, friends. So I'm done doing the milk jugs. And I'm not sure if you can see. But it started to snow. I'm so excited. So I'm not going to water these. And as I said to you, the the snow, the rain, all of that is going to do that for me. However, if you don't have snow coming when you're doing this, make sure your soil is moist. Or if you notice it hasn't been raining, it hasn't been snowing, just get a water bottle like this. I think it's like a family dollar store. And you would just go in here and you would just spray some water in there because remember it needs the moisture it needs the elements of nature your snow your rain the sun it needs that to help the seeds to germinate so the question is where should i put these water jugs do you notice i have them in an open area remember not to put them on your grass or in your, your garden bed if you have bulbs underneath because come spring you would have a bald spot in your grass so i put it on a concrete on the patio area and put it where it will get sun these milk jug they need the sunlight to help germinate the growth okay it's not just the winter it's not just the cold but it needs sun and do not put them in a covered porch okay they have to be exposed to the natural elements of nature okay so let's go but again make sure you put them where they will get sunlight they will get rain and snow okay very important and i'm just gonna leave these alone and oh and i wanted to say to you the tape is not the best the duct tape works for everything but i made it work i just did a lot of wrapping going around here with the tape so if you have duct tape, you should use the duct tape. It works better. But if you have this packaging tape, it still works, okay? And I did label all of the bottles. And I'm going to take a picture of this just in case if the labels from the marker comes off from the rain and the snow. So I know which plant is which plant, okay? So if you don't have a fancy garden marker, you could just simply do that. Make it with a normal Sharpie and just take a picture and just keep them in order how you have them anyway friends i just wanted to share with you my winter sowing for 2024 and come march we should have plants in the bottle i'm so excited to see the results and i'll definitely be sharing the results with you and i just want to thank you for being here thank you for liking my videos thank you for subscribing and thank you for your support all right until next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one cheers Hi friends, it's been two hours after and here we are. It's snowed, it's beautiful, it's coming down. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And here are the bottles over here. All right, enjoy.